it is uh, Lisa here or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. I hope you're having a wonderful one. If you are new to my channel, first off, welcome. I'm happy you found me and I hope you would consider subscribing and stick around for all things diamond painting and if you are returning, Thank you so much for your continued support. I have a Diamond Art Club haul here. As you can see, I went a little bit crazy on the Amazon store when I noticed the other week that they had some new releases. Now, if you did not know, Diamond Art Club does have an Amazon storefront on the USA Amazon, so that would be amazon.com. For us Canadians on amazon.ca, sometimes we have access to some of the Diamond Art Club kits, not all of them, and not the extensive collection that can be found on Amazon com so when I purchase I actually usually just go to the amazon.com store because then I can find everything I want there but uh, some of Diamond Art Club's uh, paintings can be found on .ca you just got to do a little bit of looking um, there isn't at least that I found a storefront itself on Diamond Art Club if you go to the .com Amazon you can actually look them up and open up a nice storefront where they've like uh, designed a home page and all that kind of stuff. I'm not I'm not uh, in digital um, Marketing, so I don't know the lingo, but it looks really nice And I I check that from time to time because sometimes diamond art club sneaks up some new releases and they don't tell anybody They just wait for the word to spread and it usually doesn't take too long so I went through there and I picked out a few different kits. Now, some of these will be going home with mom because they are perfect sizes for her. They are all round kits as well. These kits specifically, yes, all of these ones are right now, as far as I know, only on amazon.com. So they're called Amazon exclusives, meaning that's the only place you can find them. This one here, you may notice the picture. It may look familiar, but this is a cropped version of Inspiration Peak, the full version that you can find on the Diamond Art Club website that was somewhat of a relatively new release. The rest of them I think are just, you know, their own images. The nice thing about the Amazon exclusives is they tend to be smaller diamond paintings, what we like to call snack size, which is generally like a 30 by 40 centimeter, give or take uh, a few inches or centimeters, I should say. But yeah, I was excited to check these ones out and I want to open them up with you, take a quick look and go through if there's any special diamonds and just give a good look about them. So let me move these guys off for now. We'll do one at a time. Now this one I thought was so pretty. It is a beautiful owl. Uh, I cannot pronounce the name of the painting, but it's there on the screen and it's by Nocturnal Creations. That's the artist. It's around and it's 13 by 13 inch or 32.8 by 32.8 centimeters. Now these Amazon boxes, actually this one does. So this one does have a, a QR code that you could scan for 10% off. The usual stuff is on the back of the box, how to diamond paint and what to expect inside and the usual disclaimers. All four of these kits, the box, is going to look very similar. The only difference is going to be the image sticker that is on the front. Let's open it and take a look what's inside. At first look, we do have the big tool kit, so that's nice to see. Sometimes the Amazon kits come with uh, a smaller tool kit. They tend to fit a little bit easier in the box, but it looks like we've got the regular one, which we will go through now. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. And let's look at the small sticker. So we get our usual small sticker. A lot of people will put these in their paper logbook. I actually usually put them on the ends of the boxes because most of my paintings go on the shelf until I'm ready to work on them. Uh, but it is a sticker, so you just peel and stick. With all of the Amazon paintings, you do get this little reminder. You do need to register all your Amazon kits on the Diamond Art Club website if you want to take advantage of the lifetime warranty. So the same warranty applies, but you do have to register it. You can scan that QR code to take you right to the warranty part of the website. The warranty covers defects in materials and workmanship, accidental oops insurance to replace up to eight different diamond colors. So that's if you accidentally drop a color and or colors and they're all over the carpet and you uh, need to toss them in the garbage, they will send you replacements, which is good to know. And if you can't quite get this um, QR code or you can't quite find the warranty page on their website, just shoot support at diamondartclub.com and email. I'm trying to remember, I think the last time that I did it, 
it actually wouldn't let me because it just didn't have the options for Canadian addresses. I, I will have to sit down after this video and see if they fixed that, but um, if in doubt, just email them. Let's take a quick look at the toolkit just to see what we got inside. All of these kits are going to be round, so that means they're going to be without tweezers. Tweezers only come in square diamond paintings. We do get a basic pen and a little comfort grip. We also get the usual four and seven multi-placers that can go in the other end of the pen to allow you to place more than one diamond. In this one, we got a beautiful seashell cover minder. I'm starting to collect these because if you did not know, Diamond Art Club is probably phasing them out sometime this year. They have developed a new perforated plastic cover on all of their diamond paintings that will replace these cover minders. Uh, so I am collecting them. I do like using them. I usually use them to secure release papers if I'm not quite done a section. So I do find them handy and their magnets are really good. We do get a random roll of washi tape. Their washi tape sticks really well. There are quite a few different uses for washi tape. I do have a video explaining all of the uses. I will pin that in the, or I will link that in the description box of this video. You can also find it in my tips and tricks playlist section. We get the usual two plates of heart wax. Now remember that there is a plastic cover on all sides, so you do have to just peel that back before you load your pen and we get our basic tray with this little plastic stopper that just helps prevent diamonds from flying out when we shake our tray. So this is the tool kit as it is now. I am going to put this off to the side and let's take a look at this diamond painting. I'm excited to see uh, what it looks like. Now again we get our little dust sleeve. <laughs> I'm going to zoom out again before I forget. I really like having these small diamond paintings to work on between big kits or if I'm feeling a little bit burnt out, uh, I like having these nearby to grab. So when I do see Diamond Art Club come out with new ones, I tend to just grab them. Again, I'm paying for shipping uh, being in Canada, so to make shipping a little more worth it, I find just picking up a few at a time uh, helps. Now I'm going to roll these back because they have been in this box for a little while. Rolling your canvas back like this is not going to harm it at all. It just helps it lay a little bit faster, a little bit, um, a little bit flatter, a little bit faster. Sometimes that's a tongue twister. Wow, this is beautiful. This one is gorgeous. Look at this owl going the wrong way. Okay, that's as far as we go. But um, with Diamond Art Club snack size canvases, you get the same quality. Everything is the same as if this was a giant canvas. So we get the Do What Makes You Sparkle Diamond Art Club at the top. We get the poked and scalloped edges to help prevent any fraying. I just noticed an extra piece of canvas there. We do get legends on both sides. It's really not necessary, but um, they're there. On the bottom here, we do get the thumbnail of the image, pasting area, again, that refers to the area where the diamonds go or where the glue is. We get the model number of the kit. This AMZ refers to Amazon. There is the title of the image. We get our dimensions and copyright nocturnal creations, which means this artwork is legally licensed like all of their other artworks. Now down here, we do get that take 10, 10% off code. Right beside it, we have Diamond Art Club business pages. So if you type that into your browser, it will take you to Diamond Art Club. And that is where you will get firsthand information for all of the new releases coming out. Then we have a reminder, as long as we are the original purchaser, we have a lifetime warranty on our kit. More information on what exactly that includes can be found on their website. And then there's that support email. It's always on the bottom of every single canvas. So you'll never have to look very far for it. But look at this artwork, isn't that beautiful? I have to admit, I was worried because the background being all white, I find sometimes, well, I shouldn't say sometimes, all the time. It's, it's very easy to see imperfections in very light colors. Um, the nice thing though, is that they've really made their guide circles non-existent. They are still there. Let me see if I can hold it up and maybe zoom in a bit too. There we go. So you can see very faint guide circles there in a very, very light gray. I really like that because you're not gonna see these big bulk black lines around the diamonds. If, if you don't place meticulously perfect, sometimes those guide circles can cause a problem. They kind of peek out from behind the diamond, but the way they, they do them, it doesn't at all. I do find when I do uh, place diamonds on the light areas, I'm just a little bit more careful. I go a little bit more slowly. 
But look at the canvas here, all the pretty colors, all the beautiful flowers and details. This canvas is a good mix of color blocking and confetti. We got color blocking in the background, meaning big chunks of color. And then we've got some, some confetti in the flowers and the details here. I think this owl is gonna look so beautiful. This one um, I bought, uh, well, mom <laughs> claimed, but I'm now regretting not getting one for myself. I think she's going to be such a cute little picture. She would look great up in the bathroom in a little frame. I might have to order one for myself too, but uh, interesting thing, this does have that perforated cover, so I am feeling it here. The perforated cover is something new Diamond Art Club has come out with. It's so that you can easily tear sections in your canvas without having to kind of cut it yourself or, you know, make grids with washi tape and, and accidentally use an X-Acto and cut your canvas. So they're taking all of that risk out of it. And all you have to do is peel, tear, and you should be good to go. Now I have had some of them where they don't tear quite nicely, but as long as you go slow, it's usually no problem. This one tore very nice. There's no imperfections at all. I'm not gonna tear it the other way because I don't want it to, um, when I have to roll it back up, I don't want it to, you know, mess up the canvas, but it did tear very nicely. I find as long as you go slow, you tear it um, evenly and slowly, it works well. In these kind of Amazon kits, we still get the same thank you brochure message from the founder of the company, what to expect inside your kit, tips and tricks, and other discount code, QR codes for their instructional video. I do also have a playlist of instructional videos like how to diamond paint and multi-place for beginners. Their QR code to their VIP Facebook group. You do need to be a uh, customer, so you do have to have made your first purchase before you can join that group. But once you do, I will see you over there. And then we do have some step-by-step -step instructions if you're brand new. And also a reminder, if you haven't yet taken advantage of this, when you download the app and make your first purchase, you should get 20% off. We get the usual sticker sheet, the same size as if it were a giant kit. We get all of the information again, a place to write our start and end date. This thumbnail of the image is usually what I cut out and put in my logbook, but for these little Amazon kits or snack size kits, I actually just use that small sticker I showed you earlier. This kit has 44 colors. That's actually quite a lot for such a small painting. And I can really see that those colors are all in the flowers there. Like look at that original artwork. Isn't that beautiful? All of those colors. It's kind of got a bit of a watercolor effect too, which I love. I absolutely love that Diamond Art Club can render watercolor type images. Uh, I think they do a wonderful job. Now here in the color list, any number under 150 is going to be an AB diamond. So we have 117 in this kit. And then at the bottom here, I'm gonna point out two things. So one is there's a DMC 6014. That is not a typo. Diamond Art Club recently started making their own colors to uh, create shades that otherwise we would not see. So any DMC in the 6000 is a Diamond Art Club exclusive color. And then the two numbers at the bottom there, they both have a Z in front. That is a fairy dust diamond. So they have a bit of a different coating than the ABs and they shine a little bit differently. Now I am going to uh, take the diamonds out of the bag and then we will kind of look at the color palette and then I'll show you where the special diamonds are. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of drag these across and let you know how many bags there are. So there are three giant bags of 5,200. So that's probably all in that background. Then we have nine. 48, 754, 117. So here's our AB diamond. It does have that special coating on the one side that to me looks like a disco ball. Depending on the way the light hits it, all different colors are going to bounce off. We've got 452 and 451, 778, 3042, 3860, 3834, 3740, 3731, 3861, 402, Z3688. So this is our first fairy dust color. Let me see if I can get it in there. So there is a very shimmery, you see that shiny kind of glitter on top? It's actually mica powder or uh, like eyeshadow is another description. 
descriptor that I give it, and it just provides a very subtle shimmer on a canvas. I think it looks very beautiful. They often do chart it in flowers. And then last we have 315, 3776, and the other fairy dust here. So it's a different shade of pink, but again, it has that glittery coating. We have some 223, 3354, 352, 3827, 3041, 3830. There's actually a lot of colors. And as you can see, Diamond Art Club does sort these based on weight. So we're gonna see some smaller packages here. 3778, 758, 939, 414, 3772, 6014. So that's the new shade that Diamond Art Club has come out with. 915, 3350, 318, 152, 355, 221, 950, 3853, 3803, 413, 3864, 310, 3721, and 791. Now, all I really want to see is where the special diamonds have been charted. So we do have the two fairy dust colors. Let me just kind of hold them up side by side here. So we have a bright pink and more of a kind of uh, neutral color of a pink, a lighter color. Those are gonna be the stop sign and the small N. So in terms of where are they on the canvas, I have a feeling they're gonna be mixed in. So I'm seeing some over here. Some of uh, the, yeah, they're just mixed in everywhere in through here. Anywhere you see pink, there's going to be some fairy dust over through here is the lighter color. But then we also have the darker pink mixed in. Again, in this flower over here, we have some, a little sprinkling throughout. Again, it's not a big image, so we're not going to see a whole bunch. And then our AB, where did he go? There's one. This is going to be very pretty. Look at the sparkles on that. Even though it's not focusing, <laughs> you don't need it to see all the colors. Let's see where they put that one. That is a number one. So I'm seeing it sprinkled in here, kind of in the owl, actually. There's a whole bunch in the owl, um, the front of him. Uh, on his beak too, outlining the beak and up in this eyebrow or eye area. Then there's some in the background here, down through here. Again, just a very good mix. This, this diamond painting is gonna look so cute when it's finished. Like, look at those colors. This is adorable. Now, let me put this off to the side nicely so I don't mix up the diamonds. And let's open the next one. Now I'm not gonna go through the next one in as much detail, but I will take the image out, we'll take a look at the image, and then we will see where the specials go. I will pop the toolkit open just to see the cover minder and the washi, because why not? Again, your warranty information, make sure you register it. So this one is a cropped version of Inspiration Peak by Eau Studio. It's around measuring 13 by 17 inches or 32.8 by 42.6. Let's see which washi tape and which cover minder we have in this one. I think this is the same washi tape as I showed you in the other one. Pretty green floral and cover minder. Where are you? Come on. There it is. Oh, pretty. I love these. I wish I collected these from the beginning. They're little um, roses. Let's see if I can do that. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful. I definitely will be saving that. And let's take a look here. Now I'm just going to roll this back quickly again. None of these creases are actually creases. It's just how this canvas was rolled up in the box. The canvases have a special magical feature that leads them to being self-flattening. So if you are to leave it just, you know, sitting out with some heavy books on it, it would flatten out. But really, it's no biggie to just do this. Flattens out your painting for you and you are good to go. So this is the cropped version. I actually bought two of these, one for me and one for mom because one, she doesn't have the big version and this is more her size. And two, I thought that 
the I definitely want to do the bigger version, but as far as displaying it, this one would probably maybe one that I could keep up in a frame in the bathroom. I have some art prints in the bathroom right now that stay there and I just swap out my diamond painting, but depending on how this turns out and how I like it, I might actually make this like a in its own frame and stay up in the bathroom. So again, a round diamond painting, a beautiful crop of this image. This kit has a lot of color blocking. In fact, I wouldn't say it has any confetti at all. I would say it's mostly, you could whip through this with a multi-placer. Yeah, I would say so. But look at all those beautiful colors, right? This one has 46 colors. And again, I'm not gonna go over all the details on the canvas like we did the first one. We get our thank you brochure again, like the first one. Here's our sticker sheet. So up at the top, any number under 150 is going to be an AB diamond. So they actually put three ABs in this kit. 110, 129, and 141. Then lots of beautiful colors there. Again, these labels are uh, pre-cut. So you just have to peel and stick onto your containers. It makes it really easy to kit up. The last number there is Z747. So it looks like we're gonna have a blue fairy dust. Our diamonds are packaged and labeled should you want to separate them. Let's open it up and find the special diamonds. You can kind of see there the different colors. We've got lots of pinks, we've got peaches, we've got beautiful purples and teals, greens. Look at all these colors. All of these bright colors are just so beautiful. I'm not gonna go through them one by one in this one. I really don't think we need to, but I do see that there is a special and just make sure there's just one. Oh, we got two. And of course, it's backwards. So here we have Z747. So it's a blue fairy dust. You can see that shimmery, shimmery, uh, glittery type powder on top. Next to it is a white AB. So you can really see the difference. One of them has like kind of an eyeshadow type look on the top. The other is much more bold and you can see all sorts of different colors jumping off depending on the way the light hits it. We will find out where those go in a minute. Now let's find the other ones. We have 110 here. So this is a red color. Um, is it red or pink? It's a pink uh, AB diamond. Are you gonna focus for me? There we go. Look at that AB, pretty, pretty. And then over here we have 129, which is a yellow AB. And I think that's all for our specials, right? Three ABs and one fairy dust. So let's find out where they go. So I'm gonna do the fairy dust is going to be the equal sign. There's not much of it at all, so I don't even know where to look. There's really not much of it. I'm looking on the canvas where I think there might be some green and I really, is it in the clouds? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. It is the equal sign, but where are you? Where are you? I would think, is that where it is? Okay, I think it's just in this, which I'm assuming is supposed to be the moon. Where'd my sticker sheet go? Yeah, it's a little blue moon up at the top there. So that's where those blue fairy dusts are gonna go right in that circle. That's the only place that they are. And then our ABs, we have a white, a pink, and a yellow. Just looking at this AB coating, look at that. Once it focuses, isn't that just beautiful? It looks perfect. I'm not seeing any scratches or dints. They look really nice. So we've got a white, a pink, and a yellow, one, two, and the square. So of course the white one is going to look like that white circle with a black circle in the middle, just above the C's there. And then one and two, right? Yeah. So for the pink one, of course, in this pink of the sky, so in through here, it's all throughout this, the pink AB, that's gonna look beautiful. We do have some of the yellow AB coming down the mountainside there. We do have, there's actually not a lot of white. I just saw that one area at the top. There is a few of the white ones sprinkled in the tip of the mountain here. And then over here, there's some there, but otherwise there's not much white. All of this yellow down here though, which I imagine is probably a reflection in water. That's what I'm gonna 
say that it looks like. It looks like a reflection in water. That's going to be full of yellow ABs. A few pink ones just right there, but otherwise yellow here. And then the majority of the pink ones are going to be up in the sky here. This one's going to be very pretty. I might even take a look and see what other special diamonds might look good. It's a little bit hard because it is more of a color blocky uh, painting. There's not a lot of fine detail, so... I don't know, adding more special diamonds might be a bit much. They already have three ABs charted, which I think will be beautiful. I'm just thinking with a pretty blue sky and even the blue accents in the mountain, maybe some sort of blue fairy dust might look nice. But here's this painting. Let me put it all here and let's open the next one. This is going to be hell to get back into the boxes. Just pure hell. <laughs> this is staticky. Okay, what's another one? Let's do this one next. So this one is a Jeremiah Kettner image. Again, the box is the same as the first one I showed you. We'll take a look at what's in the toolkit. Our small sticker here. This is called Midnight Manikinko. I hope I say that right again. Jeremiah Kettner, very popular artist. His artwork, I find, looks very good as diamond painting. It's round 13 by 16 inch or 32.8 by 40.9 centimeters. They always used to round up their measurements, but I, I think it's because Katie over at Diamonds and Wash, she, she always brings out her measuring tape. And... Um, because she's so exact, they they uh, made their sizing on their you know information <laughs> actually more accurate. That's just my theory, but I think it's pretty probably pretty true. Here is a dolphin cover minder and our washi tape. I actually haven't seen this one. It has it looks like it might have been the end of the roll. There we go. So there's some flowers on there. It has a white strip down here, so I think it was probably the end of the roll. I actually think it's not on all of it. It's just on some of the layers. So anyway, that's the toolkit. We've got a pink pen and pink squishy. The dolphin cover miners are one that I actually don't collect. It it um I learned some unfortunate information about dolphins from You Can Call Me Butter or Randy over at You Can Call Me Butter. And ever since then, I've not been able to look at a dolphin the same way. So those are the one cover minor. That and the macarons, those things I do not collect. I do not like them. But everything else I am starting to collect. So again, I'm going to roll this canvas backwards. These are just, I just love that Diamond Art Club is coming out with more snack size kits and they're, they're always replenishing the Amazon store with some new designs because they really do make diamond painting enjoyable when you need a break from the big ones and you just want a cute small diamond painting to work on. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to have to go back and buy another one of this. <laughs> I know mom is, is taking this one and um, I originally didn't buy myself one because uh, I did just buy the Jeremiah Kettner mystery kit and I do have other kits by Jeremiah Kettner and I figured I could do without this one but the colors are my jam so I may go back and order this. Isn't that just adorable? He is just so cute. This kit only has 27 colors. That's great because I'm actually somebody who really doesn't like max color kits. I would prefer a kit to have a smaller amount of colors and just use more of those colors than having, you know, hundreds of colors to be exaggerating. And um, I have to change them out in your tray so often. So I am somebody who likes less colors, to be honest. It's usually the other way around. But there's all of our details. There's the cute image. Now, as far as special diamonds go, this one, we have two ABs, 120 and 129, a blue and a yellow. And then this kit looks like it has two DMCs in the 6,000. So two different shades of purple that we're going to see that are exclusive to Diamond Art Club. Oh, and, and a blue one, 6,000. I missed that one. So there's three. And then, of course, two fairy dust down at the bottom there. It looks like two shades of blue. Let's open up these diamonds. These colors are just so enjoyable. I honestly want to kit this up and work on it myself right now. I just love these colors. 
and with the pops of like a green and the pinks and the yellows it's just going to be so adorable now i'm seeing an ab here let me zoom in here is 120 which is a blue ab again it's got a beautiful sparkly coating on them let's see what else that's Oh, there is a fairy dust one on here, and we actually have quite a lot of it. So let's see if this will focus. This is Z3746. And this might be hard to see just because they're all flipped the wrong way, but there is a very subtle shimmery powder on the top of these that just make it shine a little bit brighter. And let's find the rest. So we do have 129 right here, which is a yellow. There it is. And then we have one more fairy dust to look for. Also, here are the three 6,000 numbers. So we've got a pink, a purple, and a blue. So this is the first time I've actually seen a blue. So they're adding all sorts of shades. I've seen grays and browns as well. And the other fairy dust, there's actually not a lot of it. So it is Z775, a very light blue, but you can see the shimmery powder. But here is that other fairy dust. So let's see where they put them. We'll start with that light fairy dust and the other one. So here's the other one to remind you, it's like a, a darker purple. And there's, they are on the canvas as a P and a star. So let me see if I can find them. P and a star, so a light P. So these little spots on the cat, the outline is in that light blue fairy dust. And then I'm looking for stars. So I see some stars starting over here, just in there's some lines in the background there. I see a bunch of stars in this light purple area in the middle here, kind of up here as well. In the Kitty's eyes, there is some of that fairy dust too. That's gonna look really pretty. We've got stars over on this side too in that purple and up here. More up here and up here above the cat as well. There's, yeah, there's a lot of that star and then all up here. That's gonna be really pretty. I can't wait to see what that looks like. This kitty is just so adorable. I really might need to start on it sooner than later. I know this is supposed to go to you, mom, but I may need to order you another one <laughs> because I like this kit. Okay, let's see. Now the ABs, we've got the blue and the yellow. I can't remember how much blue was there. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Did I show you guys the blue? I don't know if I showed you guys. Look how pretty that is. I just love how the, the AB coating looks on that. So that one and the yellow. So number one and number two. We're going to start at the top here. Sorry, you might hear the cat meowing now. It is uh, my husband's day off today. So everybody's home and everybody uh, gets antsy around this time of day. So we've got ones in the kind of wave up here at the top. So that's that blue AB. The moon, of course, is the yellow AB. These little stars here are yellow AB. I'm surprised the blue ones are not blue AB, but they're not. You definitely could swap them in. We've got some blue AB in the outline of the ears just on this side. And then this blue, this light blue all through here and kind of around is the blue AB. We've got some on the side of his face too, some on top of his nose. His whiskers are going to be the yellow AB. Then going down the stars on the, the yellow star here and then over here up at the top is going to be a B. These, um, actually all three of the spots on him have some blue AB up here and then up here. And then the mushrooms at the bottom, all of the yellow spots are yellow AB. I think this kit is actually going to look really pretty. I, I, I think I'm gonna have to keep him because look at those colors, they are my jam. I love purple and I think the way that they've charted the special diamonds in this is gonna look really good. Now let me put everything on top of this kit and let's take a look at the last one. Okay, you guys, which one is the last one? The last one is this beautiful butterfly. This one is definitely going to mom. I know she loves butterflies. I do too, but um, it's expensive. 
expensive when you're buying for two people, even though they're, you know, snack size kits, it adds up. <laughs> Here is that uh, sticker sheet with the butterfly. This one is by a Sun 07 butterfly. It is 13 by 13 or 32.8 by 32.8. Let's see what we got in this toolkit. Different washi, so that's nice. Let's see if this one will focus. There we go, so beautiful floral. Again, I have a video in my tips and tricks section that lets you know what you can do with washi tape. And our little cover minder. Oh boy, it's another dolphin. <laughs> another dolphin. Beautiful teal pen and squishy. Hello. Abby is saying hello. Let's look at this one. Let me know, you guys, if you've picked up any of these new releases. Now, I'm not showing you all of them. There are some that I did not buy. I feel like they released like eight new images, maybe even ten. I don't know. I didn't count them. I just took a quick look and picked the ones that I thought would be bright and colorful and she would enjoy and went ahead and purchased them. Now, at time of filming, I forgot to sit down and see if these are in stock or not. So I will do my best to link them all down below. Uh, some of them may be out of stock. Uh, because Diamond Art Club releases them sparingly, when they do stock up their Amazon store, things can sell out, but they do tend to restock it. So just keep an eye out for it. And again, all of these canvases do have that perforated cover. I don't think I've mentioned it for the last couple, but they all have it. This butterfly is actually really pretty. This is a perfect size to frame and put up, you know, somewhere as well. I, my husband makes me, uh, only allows me to put things up in the bathroom. So that's why I'm always talking about the bathroom, but we've got 42 colors here. Beautiful color palette. Let's look at the diamonds. Or I can show you the sticker sheet actually. Here's the bigger image there, all of the details. Up at the top here, we have one, two, three AB. So it looks like a blue, a pink, and an orange. And then at the bottom, we've got that blue 6000, which is not a special diamond. It's just a, a color specific to Diamond Art Club. And then we have two fairy dust in a green and probably a pinky purple, it looks like. So let's take a look. Wow, the colors in this kit. I knew it would be beautiful. I knew that it would... Um, have like all different colors. They've got blues, pinks, purples, greens. Look at all the colors here, you guys. It is crazy. Now our first AB is going to be 128 pink AB, very pretty. And I'm just kind of going through these quickly to see if there's any more specials on this strip. That's it, so we've got a pink AB. Oh, I totally missed the one right beside it, you guys. There's an orange AB too, 132. There we go, orange AB. Here's the blue AB, so there's lots of this one. So this is gonna be the AB that has the most. I love this color in an AB, like look at the coating. So beautiful. I like the look of purple and blue together, so that's probably why I like that one so much. Here is a new shade at Diamond Art Club. And I think we're looking for some fairy dust. So here is a green fairy dust. Again, the fairy dust has a shimmery coating on top that looks like eyeshadow, just gives a subtle glitter. And here's the pink one. Beautiful colors, both of these colors, I think complement each other well. They, they remind me of Easter. <laughs> so we've got two of the furry dust and three ABs, pink, orange, and blue. So let's see where we have them. Let's do the furry dust first. So we have, a, we have a bunch of it. So in the green part of the butterfly, it's in all of these sections. That's gonna be really pretty and then off the side, these leaves have a few down here. We've got some in here and then a bunch up at the top, which is going to look pretty. The pink AB is a plus sign. So I'm seeing the big chunk of it in this part of the uh, butterfly. There's some mixed in. So yeah, all of this pink area, there's a bunch of that pink fairy dust mixed in. That's gonna look really pretty. Then we've got our blue AB, which is number one, which is probably a lot in the background. So I am starting to see it up here. And then it kind of takes a break and it comes back around here. And then it takes another break and comes back around here. We've got a little bit down in here. 
over to this side. It kind of just follows the gradient up. Then it takes a bit of a break until about here. That is the blue AB. And then we have a pink AB, which is number two. So we do have some in the um, spots on the butterfly, mostly on this second wing here. So you can see these number twos once it focuses. There are some sevens over here. I, I would have liked those to have that AB too, because why not? But they do have some at the bottom there. And then that's it for that one. And then there's an orange AB, which is number three. So we have some here and then most of it in this area, just outside of the yellow. And that's it for the specials for this one. So yeah, let me know which kits you picked up, if you picked them up or if you were waiting to see unboxings. I know Diamonds and Washi Katie, she did unbox a few other ones uh, that I didn't pick up. So I will link her video down below too, just so you could take a look at that. Uh, otherwise, I haven't seen anybody else purchase and make videos yet. I'm sure they will, though. The Amazon deals are great. Price points, I think these were about 20-ish dollars Canadian. I'm trying to remember if it was US or Canadian, but I think it shows Canadian in my account. Um, so definitely take a look. Links will be down below. I will link these specific ones. I'll also link just the general storefront. The way they have it set up is you can actually shop by category. So I will often click the new arrivals so that I can see all the new ones. Because I don't really care about the ones that have been on there. They do have some that are also on their website that are on Amazon. I think just to reach an audience that may not be able to purchase from the website, but then they do have their Amazon exclusives and that's when I usually check in from now and then because when they do release new images, they don't actually make an announcement. Somebody just happens upon it, posts in the VIP group and everybody else goes and shops. So they do tend to sell out, but as far as I've seen, they do, uh, they do restock them. So that's great. If you are new here and you made it to the end, you will probably like it here and I I would love it if you would click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified when I do post new videos. I do try and post a minimum of three videos a week, sometimes a bonus one here or there. It all depends on my health and how I am feeling as well as what kind of content I have planned. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. That really does help. Until the next video, guys, happy diamond painting. Bye.